Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how to increase your brain power and concentration. And the first thing is take regular exercise. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be a gym rat, although obviously that sort of some people enjoy that. But even if you're not happy to doing that, make sure little things can help. Walking a little bit further, so if you go to the supermarket, park a bit further away, so you've got an extra few steps, take the stairs, go out for a brisk walk, anything like that, it all adds up. So regular exercise, because that keeps your brain, increases the, the amount of um, oxygen stuff flowing to your brain amongst other things, so lots and lots of benefits on that one. Next up, be careful what you eat. It's very easy to fall in the habit of eating what's convenient rather than what's good for you. Um, lots and lots of different schools of thought on it. My personal view is that the less processed the better. I prefer to do my own cooking if I possibly can. But if I buy things, generally look at the ingredients list. If it's hard to read, that probably means there's stuff in there you probably shouldn't be eating. And if it's a, an ingredients list that's longer than your supermarket list, again, something worth avoiding. So just sensible things to do, very easy, and stick away from artificial sweeteners because they're most schools of thought say they're actually worse for you than regular sweeteners, not sugar, and um, sugar's not good and artificial's worse. So be careful what you eat. And good thing to follow is something like 90 90 10 on that. So 90% of the time be pretty good and the other 10% well don't beat yourself up. Next up, make sure you get a good night's sleep because sleep is really, really important for brain power and concentration. If you had a bad night's sleep, you'll know it's difficult to concentrate the following day. So getting a good night's sleep, that's some of that's temperature, some of it is routine, so that going to sleep at the same time each night is a lot lot better than some sort of twelve hour window that you sort of go to sleep in ish. And also make sure your room's as dark as possible, cover up all any any lights, so all those little blue and green and other monitor lights and things like that, cover them up because they'll distract you. And the darker it is, you'll find you get a better night's sleep. Next up, consider taking vitamins and probiotics. Probably should have put this just after the careful what you eat bit, but um, depending on what your diet's like, taking a vitamin supplement, the worst that can seem to happen on that is that if you don't, if you take too much, your body processes that and thinks, okay, I've had enough of that, I can get rid of the rest. But it, certain vitamins and things it can't manufacture. Probiotics are the other thing. You've probably heard about those. They can be anything from a yogurt drink in the morning to a tablet. I personally use a tablet because it's, it's just easier and don't get the sweetened yogurt drink. I don't get the dairy with it, which I'm monitoring on personal reasons on that. But probiotics help your gut flora to basically f do their flora thing and that just helps your body stay better and in turn that'll help your brain power and concentration. Listen to music. Um, Mozart is supposed to be the best but if you've got any classical music that's good. If you've got any other music that you just like to listen to and relax to because relaxing again will actually help you concentrate and incidentally if you're trying to concentrate in a busy noisy environment if you're able to put some noise cancelling headphones on that works and increasing brain power keep alert by challenging your mind that could be puzzles could be challenges could be whodunits could be all sorts of things anything that just pushes your brain a little bit further forces it to think about things so just maybe set the idea of getting a new thing to look at each day that's easy enough done this science that will do that or Go to a site like Free Rice, which increases your vocabulary and also helps people in countries where they haven't got enough food. So that's another possibility. And you might have guessed this was coming. Click the link below this video. I've got a free report which has got even more help on brain health and brain power. Just swap your email address for the free report, download it, read it, and act on it. It's free. Click the link below the video. And thanks for watching.